everyone, it's Elliot here. Today I'm going to be talking about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This was a film that I was expecting to resonate with me, you know, to really strike a chord because I myself was a peculiar child. And in all honesty, these children weren't even that peculiar. You know, me and my friends as kids, we were much weirder. We did much wackier shit. So yeah, this is Tim Burton's latest film and... I think that the majority opinion on Tim Burton is that he's not made a good film in 20 years, maybe 15 years. So if someone's not made a good film in so long, what's going to make their next film suddenly amazing? Now this film I'm of two minds about because on one hand, there are lots of Burton-esque qualities to this that I really admire in his directing. You know, he has the gothic sensibilities, you know, tinges of horror here and there. On the other hand, there's all the stuff that I don't like in his films. The narrative in this is just so meandering and, quite frankly, when it gets to the last act, it's so confusing. It does not make any sense. It's ridden with plot holes, and even if it's not ridden with plot holes, I just can't even work them out. And, you know, I like to think I'm of a reasonable intelligence when when it comes to working out what a film's about. You know, this film isn't a David Lynch film where it's meant to be all labyrinthian and all this. This film is meant to be a film for families, for children, and to have such a confusing plot is such a major turn-off with this film. I don't think people are going to like this because of the plot. Films and TV that deal with time travel, they have to be so intricate. They have to be so well-written and well-conceived because it is so easy to pick out falsities in narrative and ideas. The time travel is so confusing that by the last act, it just kind of leaves the viewer going, okay, yeah, I I accept that, sure. I I don't even know what's going on, but yeah, let's go with that. And it just ends. Now, on a complete side note, the majority of this film is set on a really obscure Welsh island. And then in the final act, it jumps to the port town of Blackpool. Now, I mean, no offence to my fellow northerners, But it's just so bizarre seeing this final action set piece with monsters and everything set in Blackpool. It's so bizarre. Back to the film. The central theme of the film is discovery. And to be honest, I find it really ironic. It's just really funny that the central theme of this film is discovery and oh, what is there left to be discovered when Tim Burton just does not think outside the box on this one. Tim Burton is just retreading ground that he's tread over and over again with his films for the last 20 years, I just, I don't get it. One shout out that I have to give is that the grandfather was played by none other than screen legend Terence Stamp, who is the absolute Don. I love his performances in so many films. I'm not even going to begin to reel them because he's done so many great performances. Eva Green in this film, I did actually quite like. She was quite enchanting, but as the titular character of the film, she was criminally underused. She was hardly in it. Overall, I really like the stylized choices that Tim Burton has shown he can make over and over again in his films, but they're ultimately underused in this. I really wanted to like this film, but in the end I just came out with a feeling of ambivalence towards it. So for all of that that I've just said, I'm going to give this film two stars out of five. As always, if you've seen this film, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out my thoughts on films, and I'll see you again next time.